I started looking for some statistics on how often a person falls after they turn 65. How many times will an individual fall from the age 65 until they're passing? And I couldn't find anything. So what I thought is that, you know, well, I came across many, oh, thank you very much. <laughs> I came across, I came across many statistics that I did not know about. So as I search for this number, how many times, what is the average number of times a senior will fall? Uh, maybe in a year, maybe in 10 years. I'm going to look for that number. But what I did was I came across some very interesting statistics that I didn't know. And I wanted to share a few of those with you. 67% of falls do not happen from a height. Meaning, not from a ladder, not falling um, off of tables when you're dancing at the bar. I know you guys like to do that. 67% <laughs> do not happen. So that's pretty interesting, which is more reason for us to do what we do. Um, isolation due to the pandemic increased the likelihood of a fall related, uh, of a fall related injury. The prevalence of falls in the elderly and seniors, I don't like the elderly, we'll use seniors, is 700,000 to 1 million hospital patients yearly. And that goes to that number every 11 seconds. A senior is treated in the ER for a fall-related injury. That is an ER number. So the prevalence of falls in seniors is 700,000 to 1 million hospital stays yearly. Guys, and I'm going to tell you this, if you go into the hospital, uh, your likelihood of falling again is doubled. All right. You do not want to be in a hospital or in long-term memory care if you can help it. Of course, some of us, we can't. It is, it's going to be what it's going to be. 80% of hospital patients fall and aren't witnessed by staff. Public service announcement. If you have a doctor and you're thinking about changing, you need to make sure you find your doctor first before you switch, guys. We have a massive nursing shortage coming, especially here in Southwest Florida as our cost of living continues to rise and wages stay the same. Uh, we're losing nurses left and right, okay? And be patient with your hospital staff, guys. I can speak from personal experience. It's not their fault. They are working absolutely as fast as they can, right? Most doctors are seeing four patients every 15 minutes, okay? We've got a, we had an issue this week at my wife's work with one of the physicians. He walked out. He walked out because they were forcing him to see four patients every 15 minutes. There was a two hour wait in the weight room and he had had enough. It's not the patient care he was looking for. Corporate didn't care. So be patient with your staff. They're doing the best they can. All right. So these are just some of the statistics. I'm going to cut it a little bit short today. We're already running behind. Go to, the, go to My Balance University. Go to your references and sources. Guys, print this out. All right. This is very interesting stuff. Um, you know, from 2007 to 2016, the incident rate of falls increased by 31%. 31%. That's almost a third, right? That's huge numbers. So, all right. Guys, under the title, it's going to be under the heading, Did You Know? Did you know? All right, check it out. My Balance University, references of sources. Of course, you guys know I post all my notes. They're all available. So you can check it out there if you're bored. <laughs> you're looking for something to do. <laughs> yes. How many of those falls are due to bone breaking? I've been told that you don't fall because of balance. A lot of times a bone breaks and you fall. Yeah, that's true. So the question is how many falls are attributed to bones breaking, right? And, and you're right. A lot of times, in a lot of cases, I don't have a number, uh, but I will find it. A lot of times when people fall, a bone breaks first, then they fall, right? And that's due, and a lot due to osteoporosis. And it's most prevalent in postmenopausal women. Guys, we can get osteoporosis too, but a bone will break, then they fall, just making it even worse, all right? Oh.